Duke, but I think that's 68%. That's just ridiculous. You just think it's going to go in whenever he shoots those. It's Harford. There's some nights you think everything's going in for Harford, like the game three. That's his second field goal tonight. Shepard back in with Turner, McDermott. Siakam guarded by Jalen Brown. Backing in across the lane, left handed, comes up short for the foul. Done. And obviously after their championship, they're in a different mode as an organization. He has been so solid, Mike. What? His growth was incredible those first three years. Two point Celtic lead. Brown drives, gets inside, left hand won't go. The tip misses as well. Siakam the rebound. There comes McConnell. Back to Turner. Poked away by Brown. That's only the second turnover. Holiday throws it in. Oh, Brown gets it. Almost went in. And McDermott. He's averaged 30 points per game in the suit. Siakam lost it. Holiday all over him. Nimhard tries a corner three. That's good. Nimhard with seven points. And the Pacers back up by one. Richard, no hesitation, answers right back. And that's sort of the risk, if you're the Indiana Pacers, of putting multiple defenders in the backcourt. Doesn't allow you to always get matched up in transition. Brown in transition. Pritchard, another three. And Siakam grabs yet another rebound. Pacers plus eight on the boards here in the first half thus far. Nimhard, no hesitation. Got it, Nimhard! Obviously a close relationship, so I know how fondly they thought of Bill. And listening to you and Rick Carlisle talk about him today was moving. I think one thing that Rick said that really stood out, he had a priority to make every moment of his life the best moment. That is a life well lived. One of my favorite announce team of all time. Mike Green, Bill Walton, and Snapper Jones, whether with NBC or with us, just incredible NBA memories. Rick Carlisle, who was his teammate in the 86 champion Celtics, told the story before the game about when he went on a date, his first date with his soon-to-be wife, or you didn't know it at the time. Bill got him grateful dead tickets, not just tickets, backstage passes. And uh, Siakam throughout this postseason. Tatum with Turner on him. Stops, leans in, left-handed. Oh, beautiful slick play from Jason Tatum. Imhard looking, Siakam wants it. White's guarding him, Siakam turns, shot, got it to go. He thought he was fouled again. He's aggressively getting the spots on the floor, and anytime he's had Derek White on him, he's like, I'm gonna just shoot right over the top of you. Derek is excellent individually. That's just a size differential. Tatum, straight on with a three. That one off the mark. McDermott couldn't quite box and then go after it. And Pritchard comes up with a rebound. Pritchard's a really good rebounder for a player his size. Tillman blocked by Nimhard. Tillman gets it back. Shot clock winding down. Brown has to hoist it up. Rebound. And a foul. McDermott will pick up his second. White to Tatum. Shot clock at six. Tatum goes to Shepard. Leads in. Shot count it and one. The coach you made earlier to me is when Tatum's at his best. And that's when he's not settling for that step back jump shot. I know he likes it. I know it's been effective at times in his career. But to me, most effective. But it's gone by here in the second. White the fake. White the drive. Scoop layup is good. So they're doing a better job, right? They're, they're going Tatum White screen just to get that matchup. The quick switch is there, but as soon as that switch comes, they're just attacking that size or the lack thereof. Siakam had the mismatch. Hauser, though, played him well, made him rush the shot. Tillman struggling with his dribble. He lost it to Eastman. Nimar kicks it out. Shepard. Turner. Long stride back, three point mark, no good. Brown drives past, Neesmith gets inside once again, goes to the rim with force. 
Jackson on the bounce, goes inside, the runner floater, it's good, Isaiah Jackson, yeah, haven't seen that from him in this series, a beautiful shot. And Brown travel, good help defense. Pass inside, deflected and stolen, Tatum ahead to Brown, Brown goes up, and gently throws it down. Brown now with six points, and the Celtics back up by two. There you go. I was two credits short of having a double major, but I didn't want to do multiple classes my last semester of my senior year. <laughs> what did you learn in anthropology class? I learned how to respect the other. I like that. Tatum goes inside. I wasn't expecting a serious answer like that. <laughs> Brown goes inside. Whoa, wave it off. Here in the second. Shepard fires away, knocks down the three. That's his first field goal in two games. Shepard, though, has played extremely well in these playoffs. Getting the start in the last two with Halliburton now. Tatum steps back, jump shot, too strong. Comes right back to him, and he holds on. Nope, lost it. And then a foul's going to be called. Lost it. Get it back. Shot clock at two. Brown rises up. Jump shot. Nimar throws it ahead. Shepard tries again. Comes up short. Brown may have gotten a piece of that. Eric White. <laughs> See Ackerman in a couple of Al Horford screams. Great ball movement here. Winds up with a layup. That to me is still about their space and Mike. You, you have to close to the three, and that's ball reversal to attack a closeout. And it was three quick decisions, too, to get that ball to Jason Tatum. Very pain. Let's check in with Lisa. Well, Mike, Tyrese Halliburton missing his second consecutive game tonight because of, of that hamstring injury. He left game two with about four minutes to go in the third quarter. Didn't return. It's the same. Here's Tatum. Gets past Turner. Inside oh! for the slam. Mason Tatum flies to the rim. Oh, my goodness. That little inside-out dribble. Nimhard backing in. Head fake. Scoops under layout. Oh, he missed it. What a great move. He just couldn't finish. That's not an easy guy to dupe like that. There's Brown, jab step, fires away, got the three. And another time.